OTV's number one doc, Dr. Oz, moves to a new time, 4 p.m., right before KITV for News at 5. Paula Akana had the chance to talk story with Dr. Oz. She begins a series of reports with his take on a big health issue in Hawaii, diabetes. Let's talk for a second about diabetes. A lot of people think it's genetically in, in, in you. You can't change that. It is true that probably a third of how you age is genetic in general, and diabetes is no exception to that. But that means two-thirds of whether you develop an ailment is based on your lifestyle. An estimated 100,000 people in Hawaii have diabetes. Nearly 900 will die here each year of related complications, making diabetes the seventh leading cause of death in Hawaii. Dr. Oz says obesity drives diabetes. If you get rid of the excess belly fat that you have on board, that omento fat, you can drop your incidence of diabetes probably 90%. You heard me right, 90%. Think about that. Either less medications or no medications if you get rid of the belly fat. His main tip for diabetics, lose that belly fat. So that starts off with walking half an hour a day, smart to do anyway, but that gets your muscles churning through sugar. So get your body hormonally in a better place, plus it gives you you know, a little bit of confidence, you can do things in life. Number two, all the white foods you gotta go. White sugar, white bread, white pasta, all those are big problems for diabetics in particular, especially folks uh, who are uh, you know, from the Pacific Basin, uh, who have a genetic disposition uh, to, that inhibits their ability to live with a lot of excess food in their shelves mm -hmm. because they quickly put on belly fat. It's a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of your genes by cutting out the white foods. You will effortlessly, seamlessly lose weight. Paula Akana, KITV4 News. Tomorrow on KITV for News at 5, Dr. Oz answers two Facebook fan questions about diabetes, including what to do about pedicures. Starting tomorrow, the Dr. Oz show is at 4 p.m., followed by KITV for News at 5.